Now, I'm halfway tempted to come on here doing, you know, Tish Campbell lazy bitch because, uh, you know, on some real shit, Nene was out of order <laughs> what the fuck she was wearing now. Like, the suit she wore last reunion, on point. I don't know what the fuck she wear right now. Like, I, 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 on some real shit, it looked like she didn't fucking took one of her curtains down. Sold the shit and threw the shit on them. Like, mm-mm, mm-mm. But I don't know fashion, so I'm I'm, I'm going to just go ahead and, and, and move on now. Because y'all know I'm not going to talk about all the shit, but did y'all catch how shaded Andrea was being? Because Andrea had made mention, I knew Nene was going to that motherfucking trip. And you and Sheree just, you know, hit it off like there wasn't, like, y'all didn't go at it a while back. And, it, and that was one of those where he pretty much said without, what well, he actually did say, but he said without saying, I was anticipating both of you going back at it and the issues y'all had once before, you know, being a problem. You know, and what I'm just kind of like, who use a shady bitch? But. It was nice that they said that, you know, we're still good. You know, no matter how bad shit got between us, catch this. They did not spill the other person's tea. So they took surface shots, but they ain't never revealed some shit where it was where they was at the point of no return. Everything was all fucking surface. I mean, granted, it was some digs. I'm kind of like, I don't know. But, you know... They loud as hell outside. I'm sorry. That shit smooth called me the fuck off. They loud as fuck out there. But, okay, I done lost my whole train of thought. Hmm. Guess what in the point? All right. And then Andre going to call Horsha and Phaedra freaking frat. I was like, you know what? And then the funny thing is, Nene jumped on the same thing calling their ass freaking frat. That's a good motherfucking name. I don't know. And here's the thing. Because it has been on the blogs. I have talked about on the trend topics. I even said, I think, on like the last part of this reunion review that they caught that fight with uh, Horsha and her assistant on fucking camera. So, ooh, we're going to see it. This going to be good, y'all. Now, there's only two Hell's Wives uh, franchises that I watch, and it happens to be. Potomac and Atlanta, and that's only because, hey, y'all know I only watched Atlanta because Candy was on it, and I had to go back in reverse, even get caught up to where she was in Potomac because, well, hey, another set of black women, but there were no other, like, I didn't feel like trying to go back and get into any other shows. I'm not even sure if I really want to do Real Housewives. I think it's, what, Texas? I'm not fucking sure. I don't know, especially when we got Love and Hip Hop Atlanta coming back. Um, I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, um... I ain't talking about shit that happened before. We just gonna jump right into it. So, you know, Matt came on <laughs> and brought all the latest flowers. <laughs> Why Andy got a flower? <laughs> I think Kenya was, I think Kenya had something to do with that. <laughs> what y'all think? <laughs> so then, you know, friggin' frat, if you look, was looking at their faces, you know, when it was asked if Matt, you know, Six months in now, if he is actually in love with Kenya, he says yes. Did y'all catch how they faces all crinkled up and shit? Like, oh, y'all mad? You mad? Oh, oh. I kind of took pleasure in that just a little bit. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna fucking lie. I did. So now, um, let me see. Mm, now, in reference to the whole Chris and Chrissy thing. You know, I had we not already seen Matt check Chris, and you even got Andrea trying to sit him be like, no, no, let her. <laughs> Andy, I'm, I'm sorry, Matt is not even acknowledging Andrea because because you know Andrea trying to be messing her. No, let her answer. Matt, like I'm talking to you, son. <laughs> kind of let that shit go. You're like, let this shit all the way go. And, and, uh, and here's the thing, y'all. Y'all see it's only one male on the right side or by by virtue of looking right side, but by virtue of seating on the left side. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but I fucking digress. Um, but it was brought up by Cynthia that, you know, all of the girls had have 
No, 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 no. I think it was uh, Kenya that said all the girls minus um, Cynthia had something to say about Chris. So it was one of those just like the whole portrayal of it was just Kenya. But here's the thing. Nobody was wanting to own up to the shit. And I was kind of upset that Kim did not. Because I, I was hoping Kim would have went the fuck in on the rest of the girls. Just like all of y'all was fucked up but never fucking did it. I feel a kind of way about that. I really did. But then when you got, I forget who brought it up. Because again, hey, I'm trying to watch it like the rest of y'all. But it was brought up how, you know, all the men on the show pretty much get painted as being gay. And, you know, they was like, not, and, cause I think, uh, fake Tris said, not Greg. And then, you know, <laughs> Ty is like, not me. And, you know, uh, Matt was kind of like, well, not Matt because he ain't been in, on here long enough, but you saw and you saw Andrea feeling some kind of way because, again, y'all already know he don't like that shit. So anything that is towards, you know, the LGBTQ community, he gets in his feelings and real hot about. So, yeah, they kind of cut that short, cut that shit short real quick. Now, this is probably the highest my voice is probably ever going to get on this platform, but if it's Todd, by the fucking brain, my like really like that's how the fuck i just look like i'm like if you bruh bruh <laughs> that shit was a fucking whole larry up I'm getting that in a sec but you got chris talking under his breath talking about some you know kenya's a horrible person and y'all see matt face like i'm looking at chris like bruh do you not know that your ass might get handled out of this fucking reunion like you talking under your breath like he ain't about that life like this is an ex-service member Okay, all right. Now, apparently, well, it wasn't apparently. Candy has said on Watch What Happens Loud about a car being at, uh, you know, Peter and Cynthia's place. So it's alleged that it's because of that footage that the Pope pole came knocking at they don't know. I personally still think the fake you called the motherfucker Pope Po and shit, but again, you know, hey, you know, we don't know. We would never know. Now, this is when the shit got a little crazy. Now, they had even asked. They asked Ty, like, do you think Phaedra called the, uh, you know, peoples? Ty was like, yeah. Now, here's the thing. Typically, people will only try to come for a motherfucker that, A, they think they can come for, or, B, if they can do it in such a way where that person can't clap back, which means that it's only my voice and you don't have a voice those are the main two reasons that somebody will try to clap back and then sometimes you have the whole i don't want to look like a weak bitch she did it because she didn't think ty was gonna come for that fucking ass because she because she was like well it all had to do with the money he was just like well with that you know with you everything is a mistake everything don't add up and then she said saying well why didn't you ask apollo for the money because a lot of people said that but he said what a lot of us have been saying he did not do business with Apollo. He did business with her. And the fact that she said, he said, I got the email. Bro, got the receipts. Like, you clearly stated, this is between you and I. So, it was between you and I. I'm not going to involve your man. It's between you and I. And here's the thing. By virtue of what friendship they had going on, I can see him not asking her. But them going out, having drinks, you know, going to the strip club, whatnot, make it, make it rain. Like, I, like that. Hey, you know it is what it is. He gonna do a little thug thing on this shit. But she said he try, and y'all know fake to try to sit here and manipulate shit, and she likes to talk in circles. Cause if she go this way and you got her, she gonna come around going like that's all the fun that she was doing. And then now, here's the thing. I can appreciate Candace coming in because she saw it was getting heated. And you know, her and I'm pretty sure Candace's whole thing is you you a man, she a woman. Y'all need to be all right, but he shut that. Is there another fucking part of this damn re? Okay, it's not. I guess he's like some lost clips and shit, because I'm about to be mad as hell. But, um, you know, and he was like, da da da, da 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 da. No, because his whole thing is, I'm gonna I'm finish my pert. Okay, I got a pert in May. I'm gonna finish. Let, let, I gotta pause this shit, because I, I got to. I'm gonna finish my pert. And then he. And like I say, here's the, he let her ass have it every fucking chance. And then you, she was like, it's funny how you have a whole lot of shit to say because you know everything and what the fuck Todd doing, but you don't know what the fuck your husband would do. And he was living in the house with you. I'm like, you know what? 
Because even though we have seen this read for like the past month, it was still so fresh and organic to hear this shit and just how it built up to it. I'm like, Todd, you better sit here and get that ass together. Best to you, motherfucking best to that. That, that didn't made my motherfucking. That didn't made my motherfucking. Like, I done got these three motherfucking lights on me beaming down. Got my ass up in here and shit. But that made my motherfucking. Like, I'm gonna be right back. Y'all, now, now <laughs> this shit is getting good. Okay, hey, you know what? This is like how long is is this reunion? Oh crap! Mm -mm -mm. No, no, get out of that. Get out of that. Hold, hold on. So this is. An hour and okay, 15 minutes. So I'm glad they kind of, you know, just tying this shit up right quick. Kind of get my time. Okay, so it's almost over. But, you know, they're talking and whatnot, timelines, shit. So Fatra wants to sit here and read emails. And she is giving her timeline. And I'm sitting here just like, I bet you she's not reading everything. And uh, Candy was just like, all right, see, that's what the fuck you do. You like to sit here and only do a certain part because you want to tie up loose ends. Y'all, when I say that Todd opened up his blazer and pulled out printed copies of the fucking emails, like, oh, we can, y'all, y'all see how quickly that shit, how quick that shit died. Did you not get paid? Okay, then this is a dead issue. See, <laughs> this why the, this why the fuck I couldn't have been over there because I couldn't have been married to Candy because Candace and 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 you know Andre would have been mad at my I would be like no 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 we finna dead this shit right the fuck here and read read and read read the shit read the shit or I'm gonna read it you, you, so somebody gonna read no I it would be one of those where you you not finna come for me you not shit shit okay okay. But anyway, so then they talk about, you know, they show Portia's fight. And, you know, she got, she, she got bad about it, right, right. And, you know, everybody, I'm not going to say everybody, but Kenya, of course, has something to say. And, yes, I do feel that Kenya needs not always insert herself into issues that truly don't, you know, belong to her. But, hey, it's Kenya is what she does. Not a cop out, but, hey, it just is what it is. Oh, it's back. Hold on. Got to pause it. <clears throat> now. Then the whole thing, now, you know, Nene, y'all know I don't see even Nene, but she pretty much just like, you cannot go around putting your hand on people that's in the third. And then his deflection at his best. Did you not choke somebody? Nene, did you see me choke somebody? But, but did you see me choke somebody? Let's use our brains. I'm like, you know what? Because, <laughs> see, here's the thing. Isn't it funny how... Fake Trill and Nene is this bitch's friend. And they sit here and they read and shade the fuck out of her, especially to her face. And she don't say not one thing, but somebody on the other side of that, on, on the other couch can sit here and say some shit. And then she get all in her mind. Because here's the thing. That wasn't a friendly fucking read. That was a bitch, you stupid. But let's use our brain. And if I did choke somebody, I was smart enough for it to not get on camera. I'm like, you know what, Nene, bitch, you better read. You best to read. I'll be right back. Okay, so they wanted to talk about the whole uh, Horsha and the fight and everything. And, you know, Horsha even said that, you know, she had uh, went to counseling after the very last incident. And this fight occurred literally during the season finale. Now, there, now Andrea is trying to paint it as if we didn't want to show it because, you know, almost like we want to leave the... Uh, Finale, nice, happy sunshine of rainbows and all motherfucker. You wanted to have something tantalizing to make people want to watch the reunion. But you know, most of us gonna watch shit any motherfucking way. Um But she was trying to say, you know, that you know she did that. Can you say exactly what the fuck I was thinking? No, you went to anger management for a show. But again, you know, com I do want to commend her for taking the fucking step, even even if I truly do believe, like Kenya does that it was just for show and for the sake of trying to keep your motherfucking job. And he didn't even told her, if you do shit like that, it tarnishes your fucking brand. It makes people not want to work with you or even fucking be around you. Shit, your ass could be fired from some of your motherfucking jobs. <laughs> but even with the progress that she was trying to claim, Cynthia even said, no, that's that fuck shit. Because even after our altercation, you was talking all this mad shit that you was going to do, woo, wop the woo. King was like, and I don't, and uh, how long did our shit last? Two years? So she's try she's trying to she been hanging around fake for so long she thinks she can do them Jedi mind tricks and shit, but it ain't working. It ain't working. 
All right, that's it. That's reunion, and uh, I hope uh, I, I'm some real shit. Call me Betty. Call me whatever the fuck you want to call me. Uh, Candace, if you honestly get back into cahoots with motherfucking fake trip, you gonna get everything your ass motherfucking deserve and much, much more. I understand y'all gotta sit here and take, but that don't mean you gotta sit here and take the fuck shit that come with it. So that's all I got for this motherfucking review. Ugh, I'm glad it's over. You guys stay tuned. I got Potomac coming up after this. Holla at your boy. Peace.